Satnam. Welcome. So today's practice will be short but rich with elements of strength and flexibility as well as cleansing. So I call this sequence the mandala flow because it mimics the never-ending cycle of our breath or energy. So let's start with breath regulation, the alternate nostril breathing with the retention. So the right thumb of the right hand blocks the right nostril and then inhale abundantly but gently through your left. Now hold the top of the inhalation and stay for eight beats. So when you do the counting, you count by the thousands. So 1,001, 1,002, and so on and so forth. So clip the top of that in-breath after the eight beat with the gentle throat clip. And then using the ring finger of the right hand, gently block the left nostril and exhale through your right. Now breathe in through your right side and then hold the top of the inhale for another eight beats. So the spine remains open and upright, but not rigid and tight. So you want to keep the flow of energy rising through the spine. So the breath here is not bulging, but rather you're going to feel long through the side trunk. So again, alternate the block. Exhale the breath now. Now breathe in through your left. Hold the top of the inhale, 1008, 1007, 1006, 1005, 1004, 1003, 1002, 1001. Clip with the gentle throat lock and then gently block the left nostril and exhale through the right side. Now breathe in through your right side and then hold the top. All right, carry on as I drop some components and principles of breath regulation. So what's good about this technique is that we save time warming up because when we regulate the breath, um, we are more efficient warming the inner body. So the warming comes from the inside as well as we lift our energy up. And by pulling the energy up from the hips, we awaken the dormant kundalini as well as this technique, particularly the retention, easily activates our inherent um, energy locks or the bandhas. And it's very cleansing too. Really opens and purifies our energetic pathways or the nadis. So carry on. And for today, let's try and finish 10 rounds of breath retention. So that's five on the left and five on the right. And with a practice of just over 12 minutes in length, that's a good plan. So I really recommend that you incorporate pranayama or breath regulation methods as well as various cleansing techniques into your practice. And I would say 25% of your practice time should be dedicated to this cleansing methods. So they really do want this. So keep going. So feel the breath rise and then hold the spine tall and open as you suspend the breath. So this is our last side. Now breathe in through your right side now. Lift the breath up. 1007, 1006, 1005, 1004, 1003, 1002, 1001. Clip. And after that, release the hand. And then exhale the breath out. Now breathe in both sides and then hold for another eight counts. Now feel the breath rise through both sides. The left and the right side of our body opens and the center of our body opens as well or the middle channel of our body opens. Right. So after that, exhale the breath out. All right, we're twisting now. So first, rise the arms over here and twist facing the right hand side. And release a twist back to the center breathe up 
and exhale facing the left side. So we're staying about three breaths each side of the twist. Now let's do that again. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, right side. Let your arms loosen a bit here. You may release the neck a bit. Back to center, breathe in. You may start to open the fronts of the throat up. And exhale, a deeper twist, left side. Breathe up again. Chest opens, throat opens, spine opens. And then just place your hands to your heart space and exhale the breath out. All right, so let's release the hips just to release this stagnation of energy after that sitting position. So circle around, three to the clockwise and three to the counterclockwise. Right, so breathe in as your hips shift forward, exhale as your hips circle behind you. And then just level the hips to an extended child's position here. Now curling the toes behind us, lift the hips up behind us to downward facing dog. And stay about a couple of breaths here. Right. Stepping up, both feet forward, and exhale, just fold the trunk low, and breathe into stand position. Arms reach overhead, exhale, and see hot space. Right. So we're moving bigger now. Breathe in, arms open, spine open, exhale, fold the hips. Bend your knees if you're lacking the flexibility. Right. We're stepping back the right leg to a long runner's position. Breathe up the throat up. Right. And inhale the trunk up. Arms switch over head. Exhale the hips lower. And the knee behind us bend. So we're just rising up and down to a high and low lunge. Just to further open the joints of a lower body. The legs and the knees. Right. Next inhale. Shift the trunk forward to diagonal. And we're twisting. So the back arm wraps around the front leg and your front arm wraps around the lower spine behind you. All right. Doing a side plank now, so the right hand to floor, mm -hmm. inhale, open the side trunk, breathe up, exhale, bend the knees and sway the hips back, inhale forward. So what I like about this flow is since we're doing circles, we're combining many elements in one. All right. And then downward facing dog, right leg rises up behind us, three-legged dog, Shift forward in an exhalation, thigh to chest. So the breath pattern here as you shift forward, exhale. Inhale as you open the hip behind you. So if you want less, you may lightly allow the toe or the foot to lightly touch the floor. Stepping up with the right foot forward, back heel drops, and then inhale to your second warrior position, arms open wide. Now let the shoulder breathe. We're reaching up with the front arm, inhale. Fold the front knee, exhale, and then circle the trunk around again. So back to our circular flow. So the breath pattern, exhale as you shift forward, inhale to reach up and back. And then from here, find the arm over here, we're doing the twisting triangle. So the left hand to floor in front, breathe up the spine forward a bit, and exhale, twist the spine around. And stay three, four breaths here. A light inhale to release a twist. Shift forward, exhale the hips and settle, and then inhale, lift your left arm up. So it's the half moon position, so just spiral your top leg a little bit inward as you shift your lower trunk gently forward. Hand to floor, and then just readjust your hands so your shoulders are more supported. Right. Step the long lunge behind this, hands press on the shoulders, and then lower your trunk down to chaturanga position. Breathe up to upward facing dog and exhale back to your downward facing dog. Inhale and push to long sides. Lightly scoop your tailbone here and the ribs are hugging in as well. Next inhalation, we're stepping up again to stand in front. Next exhale, just fold the spine low. Breathe and rise the spine. Open the arms. Lift the throat up. Exhale and see your heart spine. So let's move big enough, breathe in, and exhale, folding low. We're stepping back the leaf leg now, breathe in, arms reach overhead, exhale, hips low, breathe in and open. So moving big enough, allow your joints to open more. And start to open the fronts of the throat, 
open the shoulders a little bit more your hands may even touch there extending forward the diagonal and we're twisting the lunge position so the twist is like a spiral it's not just rotating and turning so as you turn as you twist keep your spine moving forward like a spiral and then back to our side plank inhale exhale bend the knees hips way back inhale forward and exhale back All right so if you want less your knee might be down here and just circle the arms it will do the work of opening the upper body as well right? back to downward facing dog and then the left leg three like a dog behind us on your next inhalation exhale shoulders forward red thrown in inhale and then open again exhale forward remember the option your foot may be down as you shift forward right? next time you're stepping up back heel drops and then just windmill the arms and the spine opens to your second warrior position exhale the hips and separate and we'll circle again inhale up exhale down so for example if you have some conditions in the low back and your hips cannot fully support your trunk circling around your forearm may be supporting you on your way down just like that right? and a twisting triangle inhale and gently shift forward exhale twist a spiraling action this time connect the movement and the breath all together as you shift forward inhale already exhale let the hips settle now breathe in open the arm up and then keep shifting the energy forward there so the low back opens now release adjust the hands and adjust the hands a little bit more and long lunge behind you all right and then flow in again drop the body down shita chaturanga breathe in open and exhale back to your downward facing dog and that's it it's short but complete either you're stepping up or you're jumping forward to stand next so inhale step or jump forward and exhale fold your spine nice and low breathe in abundantly open the spine open the heart hands to your heart space exhale satnam